What's up guys, this is Cheeks Total War, and I'm going to bring you some Go Trek and Felix gameplay today. Um, the reason I got it so early was because I was shopping at Barnes & Noble and saw that um, they had put the White Dwarf magazines that was supposed to come out the 20th onto the shelves already. So basically I picked a couple of those up and I got a couple codes and I put one into my computer and here we are. So we've got the two... Probably one of the two most famous characters in Warhammer. So the uh, abilities, yeah, yeah. they all have um, certain abilities that they get. So let's go over Go Trek first. Kill? And then after we're done going over the abilities and whatnot, we'll have them fight some Skaven and Rat Ogres. So Go Trek yeah. is. Let's get his tree up here. He's a Slayer, obviously, anti large, and he's unbreakable. He has magical attacks. Which will be good against physical resistance and of course armor piercing and the bonus versus large so he's a melee expert so melee experts have a have a very strong melee attack or melee defense or values in both some also have melee focus skills like charge defense uh, use them to counter other strong melee units when facing them it is best to take them out before they can enter melee um, so he does have that charge, defense versus large, unbreakable, and then these are some of his special traits. You get the, the more basic foe seeker, deadly onslaught, like anyone else, but he has the heroic fortitude. So he has a regeneration that's constant, and it's disabled if it's if his hit points are above 50. So the effects are there's a chance of him gaining hit points when his health gets to a lower point. So that's going to be pretty good to just keep him alive. Then we've got the Deadly Onslaught and all that stuff. Death Blow, pretty standard. When his health gets low enough, he's going to gain that damage buff and armor piercing. And then he's got two more. Gotrek's Doom, which is an augment for 22 seconds. Um, that's an activatable ability. It gives him plus 44 melee defense and then damage resist. So he's going to be a tank when that's activated. Then we have the... Rune Axe of Gotrek, which is his special item. Um, he gets the uh, effect of 40% uh, armor piercing damage increase, and then he's got that imbued um, with the Dampen ability, which I haven't seen before in the game. Uh, minus 22% magical resistance. That's a new augment, for sure. So... His model is pretty cool too, as you can see. Got the eye patch and everything. And then we've got big old Felix here. All set. So he's anti-infantry, so he's the opposite of Gotrek. So Gotrek's anti-large, and then you've got the anti-infantry and Felix. Armor piercing, sword infantry, he's armored, and um, he's got that uh, standard armor around 70. And 380 weapon strength with that armor piercing. No magical attacks or anything like that. Missile resistance 15%. Encourage. And then he's got the deadly onslaught and foe seeker like everyone else. But then he's also got this blood oath. Which is a regeneration in an area. Targets self and allies in range. And then it only targets lords and heroes. So it's not going to be your whole army. And then that unit... Well, it's active if he's in melee, I think. I don't know if it's the unit in melee or him, but I'm 99% sure that it's just Felix. And then he's got Helping Hand, which is an augment. Same thing as the um, Gotrek ability, but instead of plus 44 defense, he's going to get that plus 44 attack. And he could actually use it on different people. So he could use it on Gotrek if he wanted to and just make him a, a beast. And then he's got his special weapon, Karagul. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but imbues fire damage, and then uh, bonus versus infantry, and then plus 44 melee attack. So, if you think about it, he could use that and Helping Hand. If he could use it on himself, I'm not sure. That'd be plus 88 attack, melee attack. So that's going to be pretty insane. So, let's have fight. these guys fight. 
And also, guys, I have a video on my channel since I picked up a couple copies. I'm doing a, a giveaway. If you guys want to go to that other video, I'll put the link in the description. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on the video. Or you could do the same on this video. So pr subscribe and comment on this one, and I will do a comment picker, a random comment picker, and whoever comes up will win the code, oh, cool. and then I will have them message me on the back about page of my channel. And we'll see about getting a code for you guys. I'm going to get this guy out of here because I don't want him to bother anyone. Sword drawn. So let's see how this goes. Let's send Gotrek against the Rat Ogres and then this guy. Let's have them both use Poe Seeker. And voice actor, Brian Blessed. Which, fun fact, he also voiced Clayton in Tarzan. That's the only really voice I know him for. So he's taking a sweet old time. Okay, so he's got Wither. Minus 30 armor on a armorless troop. Makes sense. By the scape. So watch, let's see. takes his sword out, which is pretty cool. Obviously he would, but he's got that standard standing still and he has his sword hilted. Let's see some Gotrek action. So Gotrek and Felix are both recruitable for Bretonia, the Dwarves, and the Empire. I know in the lore, Teclas has hired them before and High Queen Halita, so I don't know if they're going to add that up into the game at some point as like an easter egg. I mean, I don't think it would work with the Tomb Kings, that would just be uh, counterproductive having someone that's not Brumble or um, undead in that faction would be um, pretty unfair. But maybe in campaign they could do it. And Teclas, I mean, high odds, that would work. That, would, that might work. They could do that into a multiplier. Why is he crying over here? Why is he uh, wavering? It's no good. So, yeah, he's healing. They're both healing off of uh, Felix's ability. I thought it was pretty funny. I saw a comment on, I think, Reddit when they were still, like, not in the game 100%. His, his um, model was, I guess it wasn't finished, but he looked, someone pointed out that he looked like a coke addict. And I'm like, that's terrible. Let's see this charge in. Little Grace here, your friend over here. He's being a wimp. Let's do some uh, helping hands on Go Track. And then that. So they're going to be a tandem team. I don't think, uh, I mean, you obviously can bring either on their own. It's going to add so much diversity for the Empire and the Dwarves and Protonia. 
I think with Bretonia, it's going to be a little different. Like, they don't have mounts, I don't believe. So, it'll be a little weird on that aspect since Bretonia is so focused on mounted units. Guys, don't forget the giveaway. I'm gonna pick a winner over the weekend, so a lot of you guys have an option to actually enter. Um, I don't think it would be fair if I only put that thing up for a day. But the way to enter is either, well, either. You gotta do both, subscribe and comment on the video. This video, or there's another video that I have on here that, um, has the rules and everything and then i will do a random comment picker and it will uh pick some random comment and then whoever wins that i will announce on the next video i post probably sunday or monday so i mean they're pretty much tanking i mean i guess obviously against some basic scaven troops but helping hand he's replenishing combat i mean hit points on combat let's just have him beam right for the uh lord here this is getting a little bit repetitive Watch this. Let's see how much damage he does. I completely missed him. Get him. Okay. Not much. Alright, that was a solid hit. So fire damage. I mean, that's going to be good against anything that regenerates. Think about it. Um, any unit, he'll be able to hold his own against like trolls and stuff. Obviously, he's got that armor piercing. But they're going to be a great tandem, and there's going to be so many more builds now that will encompass them. So that is the Go Trek and Felix gameplay I have. I am also doing a legendary Marcus Wolfhart campaign. I'm not sure if they would pop up in that campaign. I know they pop up for Empire Dwarves and Bretonia, but I don't know if they'll pop up for Marcus, but we'll see. I'm definitely looking forward to um, recruiting them. And then also, guys, remember, subscribe and comment on the video, and we will see about getting whoever wins that the code I have, and they will get early access to these guys, like I did, and you'll be able to play them from either Sunday or Monday, whenever the winner um, is announced. All right, so have a good one, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.